I only own four pairs of shoes. If you've seen my minimalist clothing video, you know that I am quite an extreme minimalist. I really believe that a cluttered house leads to a cluttered mind. So I try to keep everything to a minimum and only have what I actually use. So today I will go through why I've picked these shoes and how I'm able to only have four shoes for all seasons. So if you're looking to minimize your shoe collection, you feel stressed about walking in and there's like 20 shoes in your hallway, then keep watching. Owning these four pairs of shoes should be enough regardless of the climate you live in, but let me know in the comments if you have any other shoe that you couldn't live without. The first pair of shoes is the Earthrunners. These are quite famous, you might recognize them. There's a lot of biohackers who swear by them, such as Ben Greenfield. And not only are they environmentally friendly and vegan, um, they are a grounding sandals. So this is something quite new. I don't know if there's any other shoe brand on the market who does this. But if you can see um, here, it has um, a copper, copper here, that leads a wiring throughout here. And this allows you to connect with the electromagnetic field of the earth. And before this was invented, you had to do this by being barefoot. You might have heard about the benefits of being barefoot, right? So this allows you to get those benefits without being barefoot. So every step you take, you're getting those benefits. And that includes reducing inflammation, um, connecting to the circadian rhythm so that improves sleep, and it also heals your body faster. And if you've seen the Earthing documentary on YouTube, you know that many people have healed diseases uh, simply by uh, grounding to the earth. Earth runners have a very loyal following and many people actually wear them all year round. So they get special Earth runner socks <laughs> and then they wear them even when it's snowing. Um, marathon runners, like, so you could actually go even more extremely minimalist and only wear these, but I, I don't want to take it that far. So I just use them whenever it's not snowing or it's too cold. And next we just have a pair of flats. So this is great when I just want to go into the garden, do some things or just run a quick errands, take out the garbage. I also use them on more formal occasions when I don't want to come in with flip-flops, let's say a wedding. Um, I used to wear heels, but then I looked online and I saw photos of women who have used high heels daily and their toes were all misformed and their feet were like this, uh, like chronically, and they couldn't wear flats again. So that really scared me and just realized how crazy this world is, that that is like supposed to be normal to go to work and wear that. I just decided to stop wearing heels. I really like the look of heels. Um, and in Sweden, we have this phrase called om du vill vara fin, får du lida pin. And that means if you want to look nice, you have to suffer. And I used to go by that. I used to choose fashion based on what looks good. And if it was comfortable or not, it wouldn't be that important to me. But now that has definitely changed. As you saw in my clothing video, my minimalist clothing video, I only wear clothes um, that are comfortable. Next up, we have Vivo Barefoot. And this is just like what it sounds like. It's a barefoot shoe. So most shoes nowadays are actually really bad for the feet, not only heels. Um, they really cram in the toes so that the toes and the foot becomes um, misformed. And then many of them have like big padding, which is just not natural for the feet. It doesn't give it its proper training. Um, so as you can see, these are really thin. And you can see here, it has a big gap here for the, for the toes. So they're not crammed in at all. They have plenty of space. So this really makes your feet go back to how they should be in its natural state. Imagine when we were cavemen and running around on, uh, on stones and like we weren't wearing these padded shoes and the toes had plenty of space um, to be. So these come in many colors. I picked black because then they match all my clothes and it's less obvious that when they've been in mud, as you can see, it's not very obvious that I live in the UK. There's lots of mud here because it doesn't really show up on black. These I use in literally all seasons, even in winter. However, well, if I'm somewhere where there's ice or snow or mud, anywhere where I could slip, I will not use these. And that leads us to the next one, which are my hiking boots. 
Now I used to only use these when I was like climbing a mountain, going on a trekking trip. But since moving to the UK, I use these every day. Um, it's very muddy up here. Uh, so it's good to have, as you can see, uh, a lot of space here. So you, you won't slip on the mud. I also use these instead of uh, boots. So even if it's raining, it doesn't really seep through because um, they're very, very uh, durable. Uh, these are from Roos Tex. Uh, I will leave it down below. I mean, I've had these for over 10 years. Um, most hiking boots are very durable. So a great investment, I think. So as you can see, they are all in a natural color. I think that's important so that they will match all your outfits. And none of them are white. I know white looks really good, but after a month or so, they become really dirty and you have to replace them. So make sure to stick to really durable, high quality brands. Let me know in the comments if you are a shoe minimalist or if you will clean up your shoe collection or if you are one of these people who love to collect shoes. I'd love to hear. Have a beautiful day and love you.